goes back to the very roots of me starting the company, you know, years ago, is I've always been into the aero development. When it came to doing the IA and the aero projects, we wanted to uh, finally do a bike where we could pull the stops out and not have to follow the UCI regulations that we typically follow for the time trial bikes. So this being a triathlon specific bike, we were able to do that. So we started with a clean canvas, said, okay, what do we want the bike to be? And honestly, the bike looks finished here completely different than what we anticipated it to look like because the bike was 100% developed in CFD and the, uh, and, the, and the wind tunnel. So we basically made simulated models and plastic rapid prototypes of every tube that goes into this bike and tested them separately piece by piece put a bike together and that's, it ended up looking like this. So each tube shape or proprietary shape, so these are completely new that we developed that uh, really enhance the aerodynamics at, at a more usable yaw angle or the angle of attack of what a real rider would see in the real world versus just at zero degrees head on. So we started with that and then uh, uh, wanted to have some integrated, uh, uh, IA actually stands for integrated aero, so this bike is kind of a modular system, there's a lot of more things you're going to see that uh, will go into this bike into the future, this is the base platform, so uh, one thing that we wanted to do is cater to the needs of the triathletes, and one thing that you see a lot with triathlons, or triathletes is that they uh, actually have their special needs of fueling themselves again. So they typically take power bars and gels and tape them to the top tube. Well, we made a compartment, use this capacity where they just flip this open, stuff there in, there's a little glove compartment in there and they just fasten that back down. Integrated aero bar, integrated brakes, front and rear, aerodynamics. To put it in a perspective of how aero and how far advanced this bike is compared to the rest of the bikes out there at the moment, is a set of wheels. If you do a set of wheels in the wind tunnel, you're looking at about about 300 grams of drag. It's a really good wheel set, good wheel and tire. This thing at at the right yaw angle is about 320 grams of drag. So it almost cancels out the frame completely. So uh, we really made some advancements. It's two and a half years in development, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of the bike.